Mine looks really close to the cake in Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Better Heads! We have a special chef in the house, or in the kitchen I should say, Miss Thea! Hey guys! Oh uh, my gosh, thanks so much for having me guys! Of course! I'm so excited! Okay, so tell our friends at home, what are we doing today? Okay, so one of my most favorite movies came out just this summer Ooh. called Descendants 2! Oh yeah! So today we're making Descendants 2 Dog Cakes! <laughs> yes, but not just any Descendants cakes, we are making their full-on cotillion dresses. Yeah, because yeah. it's not every day that you get to dress up in cakes, so Mal and Uma, you guys are getting dolled up. Oh yeah. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> so, to make these cakes with the cake batter, we're going to have the eggs, mm -hmm. we got some vegetable oil, and just some simple water, so just a couple of water. Yeah, we have some pans, electric mixer, some spatulas, measuring cups, yeah, to make our cakes. And of course, we've got the frosting, and we have a ton more decorating tools that we're gonna use. But first, we're gonna get started on baking these yeah, cakes. Yeah, you ready to get your mixing on? I'm the so ready, I thought you would <laughs> never ask. So, when we make these cake dresses, we actually are gonna use three different pans and kind of stack them on top of each other and we'll shave them down. You'll see it later. But uh, one cake mix actually makes two of these cakes She's got one, I have one, and then we're gonna make a third one together and split it for the top. Okay, so now we have our batter, and like we said, it's gonna fill two of these things, but before we do that, we are gonna do some chemistry. <laughs> we're gonna figure out the perfect color for the inside of our dresses. Okay. They have a bunch of different purples, but I'm gonna do like the purple purple. You know what I'm saying? Like the mouth. We're going purple. all the way here. So I need 20 drops of pink, it says, and two drops of blue. So I just need two drops of yellow. One. Oh. Two. Two. Okay. That was a little bit more than. Oh man, can two, I just stop but... making the cake right now? Look at that. Ooh, Look how cool that color is. Can we just keep it like that? Right? Like Make rainbow cake? Swirly. And then eight drops of blue. Oh my gosh, can we just talk about how oh, cool these two colors are? Ah! We got our two pans. And we are gonna spray some cooking spray. Just a nice little layer so our cake will easily pop out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like we said, so we're gonna split this one batch of batter between two pans. All right, Yay. are you ready, Thea? I'm ready. Okay, so Thea already preheated our oven to 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna go stick these babies in there. Woo! All right, all right. see you guys when these babies are all baked. Oh yeah, ready? let's go. All right, everybody, mm -hmm. our cakes are done. <laughs> Okay, so we let our cakes cool completely. Mm -hmm. They are kind of just like a loose yeah, You want to make sure that it's cool so when we put on the icing, it doesn't get all messy and crazy and all over the place. So exactly. Yeah. And as you can see, uh, we kind of got a lot of materials yeah, here, we do. a lot of stuff to work with. So uh, we've got icing and frosting and little pearls, that will yes, little fondant, pearls. Yes, shapes, icing. And... We have all the decorating essentials you need and we need to make some awesome cotillion dress cakes. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna clear all this away and then we're gonna start with frosting our cakes. All right, time to ask these puppies. I'm gonna put a lot of this on so that my cake will get even more, or get more height, get taller. All right, and my good friend Thea here just pointed out that when cake is all done and stacked up, we actually shave it off. So if you want to save some frosting, you push it all towards the middle and you don't have to frost the outside just as much. Yay! So what to do, what not to do. Oh, it's all good. All right, now that we are frosted in between the layers. Oh, so neat and perfect. Mine looks, <laughs> mine looks really close to the cake in Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, from her birthday cake. Oh, yeah. like, Okay, so now we're going to shave the cake down. Okay, so we 
it completely, as you can see. Some iced stuff. Iced our cakes, <laughs> frosted them completely. We frosted in between all the layers. We, we shaved it down to make a nice dress form. Mm -hmm. Now they're not exactly perfect because we're gonna use what's well, called fondant. Fondant. Fondant, fondant, fondant however uh, you pronounce it, tomato, yes. tomato. So that's something that goes <laughs> over. It's almost like Play-Doh, like edible Play-Doh that will go over the whole thing and it'll make it nice and smooth and really pretty like a dress. But for now, we just iced it, kind of smoothed it around, not perfectly, but <laughs> yeah. We're gonna put these in the freezer or the fridge just for, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes just so it cools, settles, and then we're gonna play around with some decorating. Okay guys, so our cakes have set in the freezer and now we're ready to take them out and cover them with fondant. Yeah, so we're gonna take this stuff what? Fondant, 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 whatever fondant. you want to call it. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's kind of like edible Play-Doh, like mm -hmm. it's sticky and gooey oh, and everything. Really so much fun to play around yeah. with. Yeah. Okay, ready to roll? Ready to roll, ready to rock and roll. roll, yeah. Okay guys, so we've rolled out our fondant Ooh. to place on top of our lovely cakes. So yes. Like, yeah. And so what we found was easier, instead of just using the table, mm -hmm. we put down a piece of parchment, then our fondant, fondant, yeah. foodoo, whatever you want to call it, and then <laughs> put, is what I call it all. <laughs> and then put another piece of parchment and rolled it out so that way it doesn't stick on either side. Mm -hmm. so, so much easier. So good thing it that's Good right. Thinking. So yeah, here is our beautiful. Now, like we said, this stuff is like Play-Doh. So we're just gonna place it over our cakes. Okay, so now we have our fondant, fondant, yeah. all the way around our cake, nice and smooth. Awesome. It's not perfect yet because as we're decorating, it's when we're gonna like shift and move things around. Mm -hmm. But now that it's on top, it is time for Mel and Uma to make Uma. their debut. Ooh. All right, get in there, Uma. Yeah, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of a hole. Okay, so we've kind of done like our first step, first layer of the dress, if you will. So I cut a triangle and I, a small one, and I put it over Mal to be kind of like the top of her dress. And then I cut a big triangle to kind of like make it look like it was flowing out around the sides of her dress. Oh, I love it! Oh my yeah. gosh! She looks like such a beautiful gown. I would wear that gown. Thank you! What'd you do? Um, I literally just put the, uh, the fondant mm -hmm. over her dress and now I'm kind of shaping the top of it because Uma in the film wears a mermaid style dress. So it's tight and fitting at the top and it gets big and looser at the ends. Yeah. So right now I'm trying to work on a octopus design. Woo! So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> awesome sauce. All right, let's keep decorating. Yeah. Alright guys, so what I'm doing now is I took a decorating bag, I put a cool little tip at the end here that's going to make awesome little flowers, Ooh. and I'm going to fill this baby up with purple icing. Super cute, I bet. Okay, so what I have been working on is I took these lime green awesome sprinkles and I put it all the way down the front of her dress and all through her dragon tail and then I'm now I'm taking these edible little pearls and cut it off. Oh. I'm gonna put it all over her dress. Oh, oh my gosh, Lindsay, oh. I need to learn your technique. You're so good. Girl, look at yours. Oh, that is so sick. Thanks. Yeah, Thea took a toothpick uh, and she like made all like the suction cup yeah. detailing. <laughs> like that takes some skill, girl. Thanks. Okay, so we are all done decorating. We've made yeah. quite a mess, so we're, we're just gonna done. yeah. <laughs> so we're just gonna clean up a bit, and then we're gonna show off our latest. Okay. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Yes, <gasps> yours is so fabulous. Oh, yeah, ah. it's awesome. Okay, so Uma <laughs> and Mal are ready to go to the cotillion. Yes, are they you are. guys at home ready to see them? Cause here you go. Three, two, one. Ah. 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 Ah.
fingering our messy hands. Yes, our messy, messy <laughs> hands. But it was so worth yeah, it was... because these cakes look awesome. It took a lot of hard work, but yeah, it was yes. definitely worth it. And I had so much fun <laughs> doing it with you. Oh, me too. Thanks so much for having me. Of course, girl. Okay, so oh. how Mal came to life here. Yes. Don't. Is if you guys remember, it was a while back ago, but we made three layers of cake. We frosted them, we put them on top of each other, we put a layer of frosting. Mm -hmm. Then we took the fondant, 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 whatever <laughs> fondue. you want to call it. <laughs> I took a dark purple, I rolled that out placed it over all my cake pieces, and um, then kind of like fluffed it to make it look like folds of a dress, cut a little hole, stuck Mal in there. Then I took some black fondant, rolled that out. I cut a, tri a small triangle to put over her for the top. Ooh. Cut a big triangle, put it this way to kind of look like an opening of a dress with ruffles. <laughs> then I took the leftover of my black fondant, I rolled that out into like a string or a tail. Ooh. And I made a tail, like a dragon tail, that wraps all the way around her dress and ends in kind of like a little triangle over here. Wow. I then got real detailed with it and I put all these little uh, neon lime green dots all the way down her dress, all the way around the tail. Mm -hmm. Then I took these pretty, pretty purple pearls, put them all around her dress, made a little design kind of in the front. I also used an icing, like a tool that makes flowers, and I put that all the way around the front to create that ruffle effect. Mm. And last but not least, I covered the whole thing with purple sprinkles and made a cool little design <laughs> in the front. All right, so what did you do, Thea? So the first thing I did was I um, I rolled out some blue fondant. Fondant, fun. Fondant. 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 Let us know in the comments how you yeah. pronounce fondant, fondant. Because we don't really like do. to know. Especially yeah. if your parents a baker, because yeah. we need some help. Yes, please. <laughs> we definitely do. But yeah, so what I did was I put a layer of blue. Um, I used a toothpick to add more details. And then I created her top here with more fondant. So just a lot of fondant and a lot of shaping with your fingers and toothpick. Oh yeah, we got messy and in all the kitchen. That. And then I added some stars and and um, golden pearls, and yeah, and that's what created this look over here. Ah, it looks so, so yeah, cool. She's also ready. She's also ready for the cotillion. But yeah, <laughs> so these cakes are completely edible and completely awesome and completely descendants. Yeah, <laughs> so much fun. All right. That does it for our Descendants cakes. What other characters should we turn into cakes? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, and if we can get up to 2,000 likes, then we'll do another Better Heads episode for you guys. Thanks oh, so 